Hello friends, in this video I am going to explain about principle and basics of infrared spectroscopy. Infrared spectroscopy is used to determine functional groups in the compounds. In this method, infrared radiations are used and it is also known as vibrational rotational spectroscopy. Only those compounds are infrared active if they are having dipole moment like this. Compounds will never show the same IR spectra if they are not enantiomers or mirror isomers. If compounds are enantiomer or mirror isomer like this, then they can show the same infrared spectra. Now coming to the infrared radiations used in IR spectroscopy. So it is classified into three parts. First one is near IR and the range for near IR is 0.8 to 2.5 micron. Second one is mid IR and the range for mid IR is 2.5 to 15 micron. And the third one is far IR range and the range for this far IR is 15 to 200 micron. In IR spectroscopy, mid IR range which is 2.5 to 15 micron is used as a radiation source and a wave number for this mid IR range is 4000 to 667 centimeter inverse. Now coming to the principle of infrared spectroscopy. So compounds or samples are made up of atoms linked by the chemical bonds. So the moment of the atoms and the chemical bond will be like ball and the spring like this. And this moment is known as vibrational moment and this is the basic principle of infrared spectroscopy. This vibrational moment is again categorized into two parts. First one is stretching and the second one is bending. Now coming to the details about stretching vibrations. So it is again categorized into two parts. First one is symmetrical and the second one is asymmetrical. So coming to the details about symmetrical stretching vibrations. So in this symmetrical stretching vibrations compound will be present like this means this will be the atom and this will be the bond which will be present like spring and here moment will be symmetrical or we can say in the same direction like this or it will stretch like this. Second one is asymmetrical stretching vibrations. So in asymmetrical stretching vibrations, atoms will be present like this and the bond will be present like this. So here asymmetrical moment will appear means one bond is going in this direction then second bond will go in this direction. If one is going in this direction then second will go in this direction like this. In stretching vibrations, bond angle will not change and the energy required is higher as compared to the bending vibrations. Now coming to the second one which is bending vibrations. So bending vibrations are again categorized into four parts which is scissoring, rocking, wagging and twisting. So in scissoring, atom of the compound will be present like this and a bond will be present like this. And here moment of these bonds will be like scissor. So this bond will come like this and this bond will come like this. So it will show scissoring moment like this. So in bending vibration atom of the compound will be present like this and a bond will be present like this. So here moment of these bonds will be in same direction means both the bond will move like this or they will move like this. Third type of bending vibration is wagging. So in wagging atoms of the compound will be present like this and a bond will be present like this. So if moment of both this bond takes place then both will move together below the plane or both will move together above the plane. So moment of both the bonds will be in the same direction. Now coming to the last one that is twisting vibrations. So in twisting vibrations atoms of the compounds will be present like this and a bond will be present like this. So if one bond is moving below the plane then one will be present above the plane. If this one is moving below the plane then this one will move above the plane and the moment will be like this means one will be above the plane and one will be below the plane. 
तो दिस इज द कंप्लीट डिटेल अबाउट बेसिक्स एंड प्रिंसिपल ऑफ इंफ्रारेड स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपी थैंक यू